Hey guys, it's been a while. I, I've heard rumors of my death were spreading. And it's probably my fault for being sick in my last video and then suddenly disappearing. Um, you know, originally I wrote a script for this video because I have a lot of very important things that I want to uh, make sure it's, it's all covered. But the problem with that is after recording, I sounded too much as if I was kidnapped by ISIS, taken hostage and forced to you know, read something like, you know, please give in to their demands or else they will kill me or some shit like that. You know, I literally sound like a robot or uh, scared of my life or some shit like that. Um, so I decided to kind of uh, check back on my script a bit, but at the same time also talk and say, say whatever I want. The truth is in the past month, um, and two, or past one or two months, I've been going through a pretty bad time. Um, after coming back from Canada, I've been completely beaten down, and I was convinced, um, you know, by myself and by some of my family as well, um, that the time that I spent in Canada had been a complete waste. I remember a story from the book, um, "The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck" by Chow about a, a guy called Charles Podolsky. He was an al alcoholic, womanizer, gambler, who later became a successful novelist and poet. Um, his last work that turned his life around was kind of a last-ditch effort. So I'm kind of in the same boat right now. I stopped giving a fuck. And whenever I tell people my plan, they think I'm absolutely insane. And maybe you will too. I have a dream... A goal I want to accomplish, and the good news is the odds are actually in my favor. There's a statistic that I've heard so many times out of all the books that I've read. Uh, it goes, only one out of 20 businesses are successful for more than 10 years. It's pretty much in every single finance or marketing book. It's in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, and believe me, I've been reading a, a shit ton of those books. So when people see those stats, a lot of times they often think, oh, it's so hard. Uh, only 5% of people make it, you know, if you look at the stats. But they never account for the fact that you can actually try and try again. And if you think about it, if you try 20 times, then statistically speaking, you'll, you'll make it, right? So after, after thinking about that, it actually probably won't even take that many because it's more likely that the people who gave up on their first try would have evened out the stats. So I, I make an analogy. Have you guys ever played those hardcore games, something like Cuphead or Dark Souls, um, where you're punished severely for making a mistake? And there's actually something that I used to play um, when I was a kid called Mega Man. I, some of you might have played it, you know, if you're a little bit older. Uh, but in the game, the bosses that you fight are many times stronger than you. You go in and you, if you make a few mistakes, um, you basically die. And if you run out of lives, you have to start the level all over again. And, but the thing is, uh, the bosses have a certain attack pattern. So you would go in, you would, you don't exactly become stronger. Your character doesn't become stronger. You go in, you learn the boss's moves and, um, this is in pretty pretty much every single hardcore game. You learn the boss's moves, and then that's you kind of dodge his attacks, and that's kind of how you win. And every time, every time uh, you come back, you're more experienced than last time. And eventually, you know, time and time again, you you will be able to beat the boss. Um, so it actually, took me a really really long time to to kind of rationalize this, to kind of figure this out. But once I was able to figure it out, I feel absolutely unstoppable. And that, that is exactly how I feel right now. The realization that I can actually never truly lose as long as I don't give up. So with all that being said, I have good news and bad news to announce. Um, I'll start with the bad news first. The bad news is I no longer have time to make content for uh, Monster Super League or um, to, to play the game. 
I know the game recently has gotten a new director, and he's made some really, really good changes to the game. You know, that, that, that Velt skin. I wish him all the best, and I hope MSL has a great future. It's been a really, really fun two years, and we've truly been through a lot together. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for all the support. It, it's just that I simply have something very important that I need to get started right now. And pretty much every waking moment of my life is being put towards this goal. Your prob uh, <laughs> the good news that I want to announce is uh, called is the start of Project Chimera. Now, this doesn't sound too exciting, and you're probably thinking, "What the fuck is that?" It's something I have always wanted to do. It's an MMO in planning 15 years before its release, and I have faith that it's something that will absolutely blow everything else out of the water. Um, almost everyone that I told this project about uh, told me that I'm getting too ahead of myself. It's literally 15 years in the future. I thought back to an old Chinese parable. You guys might have heard this one. It's called, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. It's usually urged um, to get people started, people that regret that they should have started before, you know, telling them it's not too late. But then I, I thought about how this parable relates to my situation. I don't exactly have 20 years, but if I already know what I'm going to be doing in 15 years, why don't I plant the seed now, and then um, 15 years later, I'll be able to reap the rewards. So I will be returning to YouTube, um, but this time with a different mission. I will be consistently making content that directly con contributes to the development of this project. My tangible goals, now this, this might sound crazy to some people, is I want to put together $1 billion before July 1st, 2028, and then have five years of really hardcore development time for the game, all while marketing and growing the audience base, generating massive hype. I wanna clarify that I'm not saying I'm gonna you know, become some billionaire. I, I'm simply saying I want to put together the money, um, whether it be through having other companies back me or through crowdfunding, or more importantly, through collaborating with other creators, um, like-minded in individuals like myself, who have the same passion as me. Um, I'll go more into detail on this in a later video because this is the true essence of Project Chimera. Originally, I estimated I needed uh, $100 million to be able to make the game, but I was watching a seminar video from multimillionaire business consultant Dan Locke, and he said, Whatever your goals are, whatever that number is, 10 times it, you'll go so much further and your entire mindset will shift. And it's 100% it's true. You know, after basically switching my goals, um, you know, multiplying, multiplying my goals by 10, I thought of the things that I would be able to do if I had a billion dollars. I would be able to um, just basically, it's, it's hard to put to words, but I would be able to because there's so, so many, so many things. Um, but I would be able to do something that nobody has even, even seen or imagined before. And more importantly, um, it gave me a sense of urgency that I truly don't have enough time and I can't, really can't afford to, to wait any longer before I begin. So what does this mean for you? Uh, well, first of all, 15 years later, you're going to be able to tell all your friends, you know, I was there first. I was one of the OGs. Um, and although my videos won't be related to the same, um, the same game that you got, you guys were, that I was also so invested in, um, the content will be much, much better. I'm sure a lot of you guys subscribe to this channel because you like the content that I was creating before. And this time I'm gonna work even harder um, and really put in the effort to make something absolutely amazing. I'll be posting updates very, very soon about the project um, just because I, I don't wanna make this video too long. I'm not gonna talk anything about the project here. Um, just some of the goals that I want to announce um, today. And 
that is pretty much it. So uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Guys, I'm going to change the world. And you guys are going to be the first to see it. Sit tight and enjoy the show.